welcome back to my channel. Today I will be trying more Japanese snacks. So let's start it off with the Conan Gummy Pills. It's apparently golden apple flavor. They all come with a sticker, which I got a common sticker. Very cute. And let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> Smells good. To be honest, there's not much flavor to this. It has like a funky taste to it actually. More like a pear than a gold than a golden apple. Mm. And next we have our Pokemon snack. Look how cute this is. You open it up right here, I believe. Oh. Ooh, I got Venusaur. I guess that's like a little mini game. It threw me off for a moment. Start. Um, let's see. I guess you start in one of these Pokeballs and you have to get... I don't even know how they're supposed to be playing this little mini game on the wrapper. Um, I think it's number... None of them? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a sticker in here as well. Or a prize of some sort. All of these just comes with some type of little prize. <gasps> oh, it's a Mimikachu. Hmm, that's cute. That's adorable. Anyway, snack. That I can't open. Ooh. Hmm. This tastes like Cocoa Puffs. Like Pikachu head shaped Cocoa Puff. Oh. Are they all Pikachu head? Yeah. Hmm. I should pour some milk. Actually, not a bad idea. <laughs> this is a really common snack that you could find throughout Japan. I actually never tried this before out of my three years living here, so let's see how it tastes. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a flavor to this. Ooh, Ooh okay. This is going to be a crummy little snack. I have to, could already tell. It's like... The flavor just took me by surprise. I think it's seaweed. Hmm. Yeah, not one of my favorite snacks. Um, definitely edible. I would not go out of my way to get this. But... It's strange. It's like sweet, but salty and seaweedy, and yeah, I yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Dun, 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 dun. Next up, we have our Super Mario chocolate bar. So it's apparently milk chocolate, and the Mario character is caramel flavored chocolate. So let's see. <laughs> Oh, how cute. Okay, so it's Mario Luigi with the little mushroom. And apparently you're supposed to break it, I think. Oh, oh it's like a crunch bar. I don't know if my taste bud is just like off today, but like... This chocolate's not appealing to me. I think something's wrong with my taste bud. I love chocolate. 
Mm. So this next one I think is a cough drop, but I found it in the candy section because it says nodo ame, which literally translates to throat candy. Um, but yeah, we're still gonna try it. So it's white grape flavored. Da, 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 da. Mm. Mm, smells good. Oh, look how cute these characters are. Look at oh. oh, come on, focus. Oh, shoot. I can't make it focus on the... You can't even see the face. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Not all of them have printed face. Oh, look, it's Tanjiro. Look at the little top. Oh, damn it. Maybe I should, like, put it over my face so it can focus on my face. This is my new face camera. Is it working? Oh shoot, no, it's not working. Yeah. Mmm, this one's good. Mmm. This is a good cough drop candy thing. I don't even know. Really good. Mmm. It feels really smooth in my mouth. I think I just set myself up on that one. <laughs> so yeah, it really soothed my throat. So I guess it was a cough drop candy thing. <laughs> Our next one we have is this cola flavored candy. And from what I've experienced in the past, cola flavored candy. Oh, oh, is this gum? Oh, okay. Oh, how cute! I actually don't even know this Pokemon. I haven't been up to date with like the latest Pokemons. Like, I'm still stuck at maybe second gen. <laughs> Look how cute these are. I don't know any of these Pokemon at all. Like, what? But anyways, yeah, from my past experience, cola flavored, is this candy? It says it's candy. Why does it look like gum? I don't even know if I should swallow this. Yeah, no. Color flavored shit, no. I think it's like, like taffy? Oh no, I don't want to spit it out, but I want to spit it out. Oh god. Like, I don't even want to swallow it. Oh. Yeah, no. I don't have to go We have our lightly salted Evangelion chips. And I actually like this brand of potato chips. So I'm almost certain that this is going to taste good. Something to wash out that nasty Coke candy from my mouth. Mm-hmm. It just has like the perfect like crunch to it. At least for me. It's not too hard, it's not too soft, just the right amount of crisp. I would definitely recommend this brand with chips if you ever come to Japan. Hmm. Look how cute the bag is though. Huh? They went like all out for this. And next we have our colorful egg chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> if I could even open it. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Instead of like popping open yeah, oh, <laughs> you slide it. So you don't pop it open, but slide it. And you slide out these beautiful looking M&Ms. Hmm. They're all right. They actually do remind me of M&Ms. 
Next up, we have this snack. I can't understand any of the kanji on this, so I don't know what it is. But it feels like a wafer to me. And apparently it's chocolate and cream flavor, so let's see. Why am I having such a hard time opening these snacks? Yay, I was right. It's a little wafer bar. Ooh. That's cute. It comes with a little card. Alrighty, let's try this wafer. I'm actually not a big fan of wafers, so... I already feel like it's drying out my mouth. The flavor... This is alright. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, definitely a little bit dry. <clears throat> I need like a cup of water to wash it all down. Maybe some milk. <clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> not bad. Here we have some Baskin Robbins flavored candy. Fun fact, in Japan, they actually refer it to as 31. So when I first moved to Japan and my friends were like, let's get ice cream at 31. I was like, where? And they were so shocked. They're like, that American ice cream shop, 31? And I was like, I'm pretty sure I never heard of an ice cream shop called 31. But many people did tell me I live under a rock, so I could be wrong. But it turned out that they're just referring to Baskin Robbins. So, good to know, huh? I'm going to try their chocolate mint first. It's like a little dual color. Mm. The chocolate tastes really cheap and flavorless. Like, it tastes more like cardboard. Like a minty cardboard is what's rolling around my mouth right now. Yeah. Don't try the chocolate mint flavored one. Next, I'm going to try their orange flavored one. Hmm. This one's really good, actually. I like this one. It almost tastes like someone just squeezed a fresh tangerine in my mouth, actually. Like... Oh, it was really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next up is Berry Berry Strawberry. Ooh, look at that color. The little mixture. I don't know if you guys ever had like milk candy before, but this tastes more like milk candy than berry or strawberry mm. Mm. maybe like a really really slight hint of berries in there yeah a little disappointed mm. last we have our melon flavor oh this is a nice shade of green Tastes like cantaloupe. Or does it taste more like honeydew? Hmm. I'm gonna need my like taste bud to be checked or something. Can't tell the difference. Hmm. It's alright. Not a big fan of it though. Next up, we have this apple flavored premium high chew. What makes this premium compared to the regular one? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out soon. Oh my gosh. Why am I struggling to open this? Mm. 
Ooh, look at these little balls. Mmm. Okay. So the regular high shoes are normally hard to begin with. And then it gets like soft and chewy. But this is just chewy right from the start. Like I love the chewiness of it. Like it was so good. Mmm. The chewy part. That's the best part. <laughs> and last we have our Anpanman biscuit. Ooh. A little Anpanman biscuit with our hiragana. Yeah. Mmm. I actually really like this. The biscuits like is like it's so good. <laughs> I was not expecting it. It was like fifty cents at the store. I would definitely recommend trying this. The biscuits are so good. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.